I wonder how popular they are because that is rank. Nasty ass bacon that's been left out for a year. They've smoked it and tried to bloody revive it. Mm -mm. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gabrielle. Hello, hi. For today's video, I'm trying out some American candy. I rate them from one to 10 and I also attempt, <laughs> emphasis on attempt, some American accents. Enjoy. Yeah. <laughs> this video I thought we'd do the most logical order and that is breakfast so I have here some Lucky Charms now all I know about Lucky Charms is that Kylie Jenner is absolutely obsessed with them so I've got some milk here and I'm just gonna dig on in frosted toasted oat cereal with marshmallows now oh I'm not really a marshmallow type of girl just gonna be honest I'm really not interesting it kind of reminds me of cheerios look at what the inside is like i'm just going to do a little bit of a dry taste test here and see mm, 100 cheerios they're cheerios i'm gonna add milk i don't actually really like milk which is why i never have cereal so anyway here goes the first test of lucky charms Mm. Mm, mm, mm. So I adored the first taste. However, when I then put in the marshmallow bits into the second one, mm, I should have went through me. Really, really sweet. And I don't really like things that sweet, but I do actually like the plain cereal. I'm not gonna lie. Number two, and whilst we're still on breakfast, I thought it'd be smart to try these. Got milk, eat crispy wafer spirals. And on the picture, it seems like you just get a glass of milk and then you put in these chocolate dip things and just have milk and cookies. They're quite small. You can see that how small it is. So let me get my milk. I've got a glass and some milk. Well, let me just... Oh, I don't know what it is, but when I just see milk like that, it goes through me. It really does. I just don't like milk. So let's have a dunkaroo, give it a little twist and turn, it comes out, it's absorbed some of the milk. Mmm, gosh, that is really sweet, I expected it, Ooh, I expected it to be not as sweet just because it's dark and I thought maybe dark chocolate vibes but it's actually the milky bit in the middle, I think, that makes it incredibly sweet. So I'm just going to give it a little round two. No, I really don't like that. That's going to make me feel sick. I'm going to swallow it because obviously mm, it's rude to spit your food out. But, ew. Ew, ew, ew. I wonder how popular they are because of that. Rank. Crispy wafer spirals, you get in a two. Before we move on to the next treat, I wanted to try a Southern American accent. But hello there. <laughs> My next treat is... <laughs> what the hell was that is? My next treat is some beef jerky. I've got some beef jerky right here and it is absolutely delicious. After I finish my beef jerky, I'm gonna go outside and ride my horse in the countryside. Let's try some beef jerky. Now, I've heard of this since the dawn of time, to be honest with you. But what fascinates me is that it comes in a packet. 100% lean beef in a packet. I don't do anything that is meat in a can, meat in a packet, meat that has, you know, been over processed. I'm so intrigued because, oh my god, not to be rude, but that stinks, that actually reeks, that smells like dog food. No wonder, this is why I don't do meat from anything that is not fresh. That looks like a dog food treat. Why are humans eating them? I'm gonna get sick just thinking about it. I'm actually gonna get sick. Okay, well, it's a popular piece of snack, candy, treats, so that's just, I couldn't do. Oh. Oh, look. Ooh. 
Uh. It's rude to spit your food out. Uh. It's rude to spit your food out. I'll even chew that. Give me just a second to recover. I need some water. Water! <laughs> Snow in! Help me! It's the fact that it's so smoked. It's basically like eating nasty ass bacon that's been left out for a year. They've smoked it and trying to bloody revive it. Mm mm. Not gonna work for me. And I've actually got tears coming out. That is repulsive. I'm really sorry to the creators in Wisconsin and to all of those who love beef jerky, but beef jerky is a big fat zero. It's vile. Something that I hope is going to help me bloody recover from that beef jerky is... Twinkies! <laughs> I have no idea what these are. <laughs> Nothing at all. All I know is that, again, these have been mentioned on so much TV. Everybody loves a Twinkie. So this is what the Twinkie comes in, and it really reminds me of a Mandeville cake. Is that a thing? I feel like it is. Very sweet, very, very sweet. Okay. It's nice, but as I said, it's very sweet. I smell something, I thought this is sweet. It's very, very, very sweet. I'm gonna give this a tough one because it is nice and there's not necessarily anything wrong with that it's just too sweet for me so i'm going to give this a three <laughs> i'm a tough critic next up i want to step away from something sweet i know this is a candy challenge but <laughs> it's gonna go last for my teeth so i have got here some warheads sweet sour fruity chewy candy very interesting it looks like you have one of these and it blows your head off which is why it's called war bombs blowing head very interesting let's give this a whirl sometimes you know a lot of sweets are like oh my gosh this is so strong it's blowing your head off oh my gosh so sour and you have it and it's just like <laughs> liars <laughs> Look at my head, it's still on. There we go, I don't know if it's meant to be child friendly so you don't want to blow a kid's head, but why would you brand yourself as a wall head? Why would you get people excited and think, oh my God, this sweet is gonna be so strong, really? Just like ripples, ripples in the water. The whole water hasn't blown out, has it? So, oh, that's a shame, whatever brands this is. Wally, Wally made them. And I'm gonna give you, Wally, a big fat two. Before we move on to the next sweet, I wanted to give another accent I go and I'm gonna try the East Coast because I do watch a few New York series, so I should be. Mm. Holly, Holly, why the hell did you do that? You don't call James St. Patrick. I'm going into Southern. You don't call James St. Patrick by ghost, Holly. I'm gonna go and get some pizza, and when I come back, I expect you to make me a coffee. Do you understand, Holly? Holly! <laughs> That's me going off a character in power, Tommy, who is just the greatest actor of all time, and he sounds nothing like I just did then. That was another fail, but you know, gave it a while, gave it a while. So, next up, we have Oreo brown style. Now, I am obsessed with Oreos, in particular Oreo brownie, but in the biscuit form. And so, when I saw the brownie, mm, I was just like, it's a no-brainer. Mm. Dry as a brick. No exaggeration, there's no moisture to that brownie whatsoever. Brownie's all about moisture, okay? Gooeyness. Ew. Oh dear, I'm going to give it a four. Up next is an absolute classic. I don't know why it's a classic, but it just is. And it is the one and only Twizzler. A Twizzler. And it in fact says low fat snack. But it comes as like a whole strip here and then you pull off it singly. Right, right no. Here's my Twizzler. Let's twizzle a little ring. Don't like that. Don't like that. I'm not even going to finish the rest of it. 
Really sorry to be so negative. This video isn't going very well. This here is rubbish. Nothing to it. Just a piece of plastic. No flavour, no chew. Might as well be chewing my bag that I take down to Sainsbury's, my reusable plastic bag. That's it. That's it. Nothing more to say. A third and final accent, you'll be happy to know, is going to be Californian. I'm going to channel my inner Carl Richards, aka any housewife, in Beverly Hills. And let me just go for it. Hi, my name is Gabrielle and I'm currently living in Calabasas, but I'm looking to relocate to Old Hollywood, all the hills. I have a six million pound mansion, three dogs, a swimming pool. Let me know how I did in my accents down below, but my final candy of this challenge is a Pop-Tart. Once again, this is an absolute classic. It's described as a frosted chocolate chip cookie dough on a toaster pastry. Ooh, mmm, right. Look at this. I mean, they could have gone to the trouble of putting the chocolate all over, or do not need it because it's that sweet. It looks a bit different to the packet, look at this. That has got chocolate all over and loads of white stuff and that it looks dry us. Anyway, let's try it. Not gonna lie, it was pretty dry. They could have put on a little bit more chocolate. Not even chocolate, but just some moisture. Just moisten it up. But it is called a pastry. I suppose pastries are quite dry. So I would rate this Pop-Tart a four out of 10 which brings me to the end of the video and really sadly i didn't give one candy over five nothing blew me away and these are very famous treats like i hear about these treats everywhere from americans so i'm just pretty confused is it because i'm not used to that much of that is it because i'm not used to it at all is it because they're so different to british candy Jump is going to ski with. I don't know. I don't know. I just really wasn't blown away. And some were actually foul, i.e. <clears throat> beef jerky. <laughs> but it was really fun. I'm glad I did it. It was a really fun video to try different times from our friends over the Atlantic. So if you did enjoy this video, please do make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. It would really help my channel grow. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. Yeah.